Hi guys, I just wanted to do a quick video chatting with you guys about my art journal today. Um, yep, keep picking them up. So it's raining here, we've got the heater on, I've got my kids playing in the background, so I hope you can hear me okay, and I'm sorry for the distractions, but it's just been a while since I've done a video where I've chatted to you guys, so I thought I would just like give you a little update on the art journal so you can see how it's um, progressing. So I have been doing process videos for some of the pages, but some of them, actually probably most of them, I haven't. So I'm just going to flip through it quickly and show you guys what you've missed. So this is my first page and this was a really, really quick page to do. I just did some um, magazine cutouts and bits of scrap paper. Um, and this is from a magazine, so I thought that was fitting for the title page. And then I just painted it, did a bit of drawing, and that was that. It was really, really quick. Um, I did a process video on this page, if you want to see how I did that one. And this one... I don't know if you'll be able to see, but, well, I guess you can see, but it's just a drawing. I wanted to practice drawing um, faces, like, in profile view because I'm not very good at that. I'm happy with how this one turned out, but usually they do not work out for me. So just drew this girl, and then I drew some animals. So I did, like, a bear and a bird and a bunny. And then um, afterward, I just added some paints to the background. <clears throat> so really really easy not really that arty or like mixed media just a really simple page um this one was just a old drawing that i did that i stuck in and then i did some journaling underneath there also i'm finding that i work on pages and then i work my way back or i come back to pages and add things later if i feel like i want to so i'm not just working back to front or doing a whole page at a time this one for example i did I think I did this drawing one day and then like maybe like a week later I started adding the paints and stuff. This um, stuff here, you probably can't see on the video, but the fingernails I used, what did I use? I used this, this glass effect stuff. I don't even really know what you're supposed to use this for, but I use that for the fingernails to make it kind of glossy. And if you touch it, it's like raised and it it's it kind of cool. So I did that. And then I just did some more journaling and, um, I don't know, there's some collaging there with the pattern instructions and some stamping and stuff. This page, um, I do really like this page, but I didn't draw these girls, so they're kind of the focal points to the page and, um, um, I can't really take credit for them because I just cut them out. And then this is... Um, an example of a page I'll come back to when I feel like I want to work on it because this needs something it's just um, half finished but it's just I do a lot of the same stuff I'm finding so far so collaging painting some washi Hello. tape good job keep going so some washi tape and then like bits of pen over the top just to blend the whole page together this page is another example of a only just started page, so I just did some um, more collaging or um, stuck some background. So this is scrap. Um, it's what is it called? Wrapping paper. This is wrapping paper. Okay, keep going. Use the sweeper now. So this is wrapping paper, and then this is out of a magazine. So I'm gonna do something with that. And then this is just watercolour paints. Again, it's not finished, so I'll do something here later. And it, the paints are really chalky, so they kind of rub off on your hands, but that's okay. Um, I did do a process video for this one, but I wasn't very happy with the footage, so I didn't end up putting it up. But it was really, really quick and simple. I did um, basically the same what I usually do with the paints and collaging and bits of pens and stamping and stuff. I also did a bit of texture paste and yeah that's about it for that page. I did a process video on this page if you want to see that and then I also did a process video for my first page which was this page. Um, this was a drawing I did in my sketchbook and I just cut it out and glued it on and then there's some napkins 
um, on the background there and I'll probably add more to this page as well. So another thing that I wanted to say was I have learnt so far that the paper I used in this art book is not really suitable because it's kind of started to tear. Um, whenever you add the wet mediums to it, it just can't hold it. So see how my signatures are kind of floppy. Um, I've been reinforcing it with tapes and stuff as I go, but it's not... Next time I won't use that paper for this, um, but it's okay. I'm going to continue with it anyway, and hopefully um, it'll be okay. But worst comes to worst, I'll have loose pages, but that's okay. Um, this is a page that I haven't done yet. I did a process video. I did a process video for this page as well, if you want to see that one. This one, I again did a drawing in my sketchbook and then I cut it out. I was playing around with some new markers that I got. So, so I did some napkins. I did um, just collage my own artworks on. This is out of a book that I had and this is just scrapbook paper. Again, this is a page that if I want to, I can come back and add things to if I feel like feel like I want to do that. Um, if not, then I won't. I'll just leave it. But... Can I go sweep? If not, I'll just leave it. And this is um, fabric down the bottom there as well. So I like all the different textures on this page. It feels nice to touch. <laughs> Um, this page is not finished, um, I just did some watercolour, like a rainbow thing. I'm going to do more to this page, I don't know what I'm going to do yet. This one was just a drawing and then I did, um, watercolour pencils to colour in the backgrounds. I haven't done anything to this page yet, and then I've also got a process video for this page, so, um, I think... That's all I'm up to, but I've done a good chunk of this book and I'm having lots of fun in it. The only problem now is finding time to um, sit and do it. I can work in it, but to film my processes um, can be hard because I, I'm finding that the pages actually take me, some of them, most of them take me a good while to do. So when I'm filming them, it's just a bit difficult to to do that but um so anyway I can't remember what I was saying because I got distracted um but um yeah I got distracted that's why it's so hard for me to film process videos because I'm constantly getting distracted if I'm working on something for more than 10 minutes so um that's the only problem otherwise I would be working this all the time because it's just so much fun so anyway, as well, I wanted to say if you are a new subscriber, I just wanted to say hello because all of a sudden I, I feel like I have a lot more subscribers than before and I don't know how that happened. Um, but if you're new to my channel, thank you so much for joining us. And um, if you're an odd subscriber or someone that's been following for a while as well, as well as the new subscribers, I would love to hear what your favourite videos are to watch because I know some people like the process videos, the journaling process videos, the art journal um, process videos and then I know there's people that like to see the handmade journal flip throughs and I like doing all of those videos so if you have a preference leave it in the comments below because I'm so curious. Actually I had a little thought, I just got my first traveller's notebook recently the other day and I've got it set up but um, I'm not going to do a video on it I think until I'm kind of more comfortable in it because I don't want to do a video on something that I don't know what I'm talking about because this is literally my first traveler's notebook ever so I'm going to give it kind of like a trial run and see how it works for me um, but I've made my own inserts and stuff so um, if this become something that I really love. I'll definitely do a video um, on my setup and stuff and, and show you a bit of what I've been doing inside. So if you would be interested in this video, let me know as well in the comments. Anyway, I hope you're all doing really, really well and I hope to be back soon with some more videos for you guys. So take care. Bye.